guys. So it's been a little bit and I've been wanting to do a few videos so I got um, quite a few things coming up. But this is for the All Ages, All Races, All Sexes collection which I didn't pick up till like after it came out because I had gotten stuff from the Warm and Cozy and it was just kind of like you know more of the neutral natural type of stuff so I really wasn't going to get um, much so some of the stuff that I got was more like a surprise for me that I picked it up when I got there I do want to let you guys know that in I did return some stuff from my warm and cozy haul so I want to let you you know give you guys like not a heads up but just let you know um, I returned the chamomile um, eyeshadow just because after you know looking at it and kind of like matching it with my other stuff because usually um, I do that after I do the haul I found it to be pretty close to vanilla and blank type which I use a lot blank this is on um, blank type and vanilla and I just found it to be too close for that it just kind of turned me off and I returned it and then I also returned the um, modelette or modelette however you pronounce it because it was just like another brown that I don't need because I have like all of these I have the coastal sense palette um, neutral palette and it's just you know to the point where I have to be um, a little more conscious of what I'm getting and smarter about my purchases so I returned that I also returned the brown shade stick because I have gentle lentil and they were exactly the same and it was also a little bit similar to penny which I have so I returned that I returned there was something else I returned I don't remember I think it was like four things so the shade stick the two shadows and there was something else I just don't remember what it was um, that just went right into the All Races whatever collection. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Because, you know, sometimes I know people look at other people's hauls to kind of see what they can get if they have the same skin tone or um, because of the person's opinion. So that's that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I picked up. And before I do that, I just want to show you these are my nails. Yeah, they're not perfect. I do them myself. But... I just wanted to show it to you because I always get asked what I'm wearing on my nails and that this is blissed out from I guess the warm and cozy collection and the first thing I got from the collection I'll show you the two eyeshadows I got the first one is called all races and it's a matte and that's pretty much the reason why I got it because it's a matte and it kind of reminds me of that's how it looks it kind of reminds me of like a more beige, mauve grayish, I don't know. Um, you can't really see it. It's a light color. Um, it is pigmented, but it's a light color. Of yogurt, you know, yogurt is like the pinker version, and I love mattes, so that's that one. And then the other one I got was Banshee, which is a luster. I don't normally like lusters because they're like chunky or whatever. And this one, it does look kind of chunky in there, but when I swatched it, I really liked the color. So I am I was willing to work with it. And that's the color right there. It's just a pretty, like, light mauve color, and it's not that, it's not really, like, super chunky like a lot of the lusters are. And I played with it, and I don't know, it was just worth me getting for me. I got the two beauty powder blushes not so much because I think like the colors are so wonderful but more so because I love beauty powder blushes I love the consistency of them and how they blend and everything I got all's good which is the darker color and that's what it looks like it's a very pretty again it's sort of kind of like the theme with like this whole mauve thing that they had going with this collection and then the other one is personal style it sort of reminds me of like strata it's just kind of like it has a little bit of a sheen to it it's a very pretty neutral color and I'm actually wearing it now it's pretty much the same as like my skin tone you can't even see it it's right here I have it on now just right here so it just gives me a sheen I did get one of the pigments I got rich life 
which is the brown one and of course you guys have seen the new packaging I told you guys tweeted about that I like this um, brown it has some shimmer to it like some gold reflex that's how it looks I'm sure you can see that because I can see it from here it's gorgeous I like it I actually did a look with it I didn't record it because I was just kind of like playing around and that's what happens a lot of times that you see looks posted on my blog and not a tutorial because I just tend to like sit and pull stuff out and start playing with it and then kind of think mm, I should have did a tutorial but maybe I'll recreate it or do something a little bit different with it show you what it looks like because it's really pretty on then I got this which I knew I was getting it's the spirit and soul lip gloss it's the darker one um, that was the other thing I returned I returned the 3N lip gloss um, it had an odd smell and I just didn't like it I found it to be um, once I I don't know it was just ugly it was an ugly brown after I really took a good look at it and I hated it and it and it smelled so I don't know if it was bad or what but this is spirit and soul right here it's a very pretty brown and this basically replaced that other one this has a little bit of shimmer to it but nothing crazy and the other lip glass which I got and I was not even thinking about is the one that I'm wearing and it is called glamour for all and looks like this and it's like a creamy beige pink like a pinky beige and these I swear you guys are so pigmented it's ridiculous this is it right here I mean you could wear this alone you don't need no lipstick um, it's so pigmented I put it on my lips and I had to actually take some off you know just kind of rub it in so that was a surprise purchase and then I got two lipsticks and one of them of course is a surprise purchase I wanted empowered it's a satin from what I saw online and I really really love it it's a gorgeous brown color and um, I tend to always go towards like the pinks and things like that but when that's the swatch right there when I swatched it as you could see it's very smooth the the way it applies the application is is beautiful like sometimes you apply it's too creamy you are kinda like working with it this applies really nice and being a satin it's just got a beautiful finish so I love that one and then the other one that I got is the one that I'm wearing as well and it's called myself and it's a luster and it looks like this and I wasn't again planning on getting on this lipstick but I found it to be so beautiful um, there it is next to the brown you can't really see it's kind of like my skin tone it's like again a beige a pinky beige I really like it I'm wearing it now and it gives you you know that pale look the last thing I got which is not from the collection is the studio fix lash and this is what it looks like the brush I did hear very good things about this um, Studio Fix Lab um, from Just Blankets and a couple of other people here on YouTube plus some of the makeup artists they got work with on a regular basis. They all, you know, were raving about it. So I figured I'll pick it up and check it out. I haven't tried it yet. And that's it, guys. That's what I got. So if you have any questions about any of this stuff, you guys know what to do. I always answer your comments and I think that's it. I think I'm done. I'm going to have another video for you guys today. Probably wearing the same friggin' outfit. Whatever. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.